And welcome back to East Rutherford, New Jersey. It's been summer like weather conditions of past few days. Uh, bikinis out in Central Park over 80 yesterday and 78 degrees at kickoff today. Tom Coughlin, the Giants head manager in his uh, fourth season, one win away, counting playoff victories from the century mark in that win column. And young Eric Mangini at age 36 trying to turn the Jets course around. They're one and three after a tough loss at Buffalo last Sunday. Lawrence Times tees it up. They've been playing for some 30 plus years and uh, some of them have been very exciting including their last meeting where they went overtime and the Giants won in the final seconds of overtime. Times. Approaches the ball and we're underway. Deep to return is Leon Washington at the three. Washington scoots across the 25 and is swarmed at the 28 yard line. Jabril Wilson leads the way. Chad Pennington, his accuracy reflected in a 105 passer rating. The problem has been not enough completions in the end zone, only five touchdowns in his three games. Up front, left tackle to Brickishaw Ferguson is where that Giants pass rush that registered 12 sacks against Philadelphia and running back Thomas Jones leads in rushing, but is yet to score his first Jets touchdown. We'll see a lot of no huddle from Pennington and the Jets throughout the day. Let's see how he can dismiss that ferocious pass rush displayed by the Giants the last two games. Quick throw batted down at the line of scrimmage. Justin Tuck he has four sacks and normally doesn't start. That's more sacks than the entire Jets team. Four defensive ends like they showed last Sunday night. Start off on first down sending the message early. You like pressure we got pressure right here and it's been the key to their play as a football team the last six quarters. Kiwanuka and Tuck move inside with Strahan and Yuma Yura on the outside. Jones the tailback second and ten. Pennington incomplete. Hatchery on the sidelines covered by Sam Madison. Checking the Giants defense a few third and longs are exactly what the defense of the Giants measure their pass rush against. This is the toughest of conditions for Pennington. He knows they're coming and they bring two extra men throw to the sidelines to Coles. He's out of bounds shy of the first down Corey Webster at the corner covering for the Giants. So three and out for the New York Jets. Well, having Matthias Kiwanuka making this transition from defensive end to linebacker in that third and long gives you the flexibility of actually taking his hand off the ground and you have to make a decision as to how you're going to treat him. But when in doubt with 97, you better treat him like, like he's a defensive end. Ben Graham, the left-footed punter from Australia, sends it on its way to R.W. McQuarters, the 10-year veteran from Oklahoma State, and he's tripped up at the 23-yard line. Downfield was Brad Smith to make the play for the Jets. And here come the Giants offensively and quarterback Eli Manning in his fourth year with the Giants has managed seven touchdowns in the first four games. Six of those seven to Plexico Burris. There are the numbers on Manning under 60 percent completion up front for the G-men David Deal in his 69th consecutive start. He has solidified that left tackle position and Brandon Jacobs returns to action at tailback. The 265 pound runner has missed the last three games. He's not in the lineup. It's uh, Derek Ward who will start but we'll see plenty of Jacobs as well. Manning will throw on first down. Lots of time. Now he's caught and just does get it away to save the sack. Ward was there, could not make the catch. And Sean Ellis, number 92, the man applying the pressure for the men in white. The Jets defense, a three for Coleman. Coleman out with a concussion. Second and ten. Ward and Madison Hedgecock, the fullback. It's Ward on the give. And he burrows close to the 28 yard line. Brian Thomas there to make the stop. Ward's in a good job, hasn't he, Randy, in filling in for the injured Jacobs? 353 yards. Exactly. Well, you look at him and what he's done. Probably the most impressive thing is season started, it was going to be Jacobs, it was going to be Ruben Drones. 
And he's led right now the NFL as far as percentage of rushing by one player. And that's not the first name would roll off your lips if you started 2007 asking for a real in impactful running back. Finished his collegiate career at Little Ottawa, Kansas, a student population around 700. Manning on third and long out of the shotgun. Ward with him. Throws deep this time, incomplete to Shockey, the tight end, and Eric Smith tested early. The backup safety makes a good effort, reaches in and knocks it away. Played his college ball at Michigan State. Shockey's won the ball more, but don't they all? Right, every tight end, whether it's Gates or Gonzalez or Shockey or Heap, they get the rep, they get the reps, and the ball, they, they just want to keep getting it. Jeff Figgles, the 41 year old veteran punter from Miami of Florida. Leon Washington back at the Jets 25. Washington calls for the fair catch at the 26 yard line. The both teams initial possession three and out. No score early at the Meadowlands. Jets on the road but playing at home. It's a Giants home game here at Giants Stadium. Neither team able to move the ball on their first opportunity and now it's the Jets starting from their 26 and it's Thomas Jones and Jones fights his way for a couple into the arms of Antonio Pierce the middle backer and others. OK Randy's crosstalk. Well what we've seen now after the last game and a half out of these Giants is kind of the same old stuff. Intimidating defense good running high percentage passing. Stay with that mold it's worked in the past let it work again and. The Jets have been a very sloppy team who has not executed and finished drives. Do not buy the stats. Stats will lie. The Jets are just flat not very good. Second down and seven as Pennington changing the play at the line of scrimmage. Kotri and Coles the wide receivers. Jones the tailback and he gets the call. Across the 30 to the 32. Leave New York Jets four yards shy of a first down. Again, it was Antonio Pierce who made the Pro Bowl last year after leading the Giants in tackles. They're first. If you can get this Giants defense into third and medium, in this case, you know, four and a half or so, five yards, there is a huge difference as to what you can do play call wise. Mike Strahan is just now rounding into shape. OC had the game he had last Sunday. Brad Smith is in there at wide receiver. And then they snap it to Washington direct snap and Leon Washington has a first down across the 40 yard line. So a little gadget move by Eric Mangini. You know great if you, if you take an eye keep an eye on Chad Pennington watch him right here. The whole way he's trying to fake out the defense you know what he did. Everyone's looking at him. Suddenly the ball is direct snapped to Washington. And this goes back Dick to, a, to an attitude I think this team has to have offensively defensively special teams. They're in a the page in your playbook you're not willing to use today. He was looking over at Brad Smith and every team that plays the Jets concerned about Smith's versatility and the Giants were looking that way and Washington runs the other for 10 on the first down. Plenty of protection this time and wide open in the flat is Thomas Jones and he's near the sticks as he enters Giants territory at the 49. Kevin Dockery there to bump him out of bounds. And when you play this New York Jets offense you've got to be a very patient defense too. They're going to complete passes. Chad Pennington is going to complete balls to his receivers and his running backs and his tight ends. You have to try to limit the number of yards after catch. Quick timing patterns just don't let them get off down the field because Coles and Cotchery can go a long way once they catch it. Well this is Mangini's design second and one so they can go long with a bomb to Cotchery well covered by the veteran Sam Madison. And that's the whole it's the hole in their team it's the hole in their offenses they no one fears them down the field because of. You know flatly because of Chad Pennington's arm unofficially Randy here in the fifth game of the season that's only the third ball thrown over 20 yards by Pennington. Hey, you've got to be able to stretch if you don't stretch a defense they stay within 15 yards of the ball and will absolutely crunch it. That's Brad Smith at quarterback and he tries the sneak and it does not appear that he made it. He was down by contact too when that ball squirted loose it's going to be just short. A pretty favorable spot. Let's see. 
at the 49. Uh, uh, 48 and a half that doesn't look uh, based on the position of the yardstick that it's going to be a half yard short. They'll measure anyway. So if Mangini sees that it's fourth and one at this stage you punt from midfield you take a chance at one and three with your season on the brink. I don't see any reason why you don't go for it here. It is a half yard shy. And they are going to go for it as McCarrens and Cotri come into the huddle for the Jets. And the Giants fans try to support the defense. Thomas Jones can't hear. He comes up to get the word uh, straight on from Pennington. Now an empty backfield. Yeah, they're trying to get somebody to jump. And that ploy just isn't going to work. No. The Giants stay tight. They don't fear their running game. Why would they? They don't fear the sneak. Why would they fear the running back? Running back wasn't in the picture, so yeah. it did not work as Pennington tried to pull the Giants offside for the first down. Now the punting team comes on. Graham. Averaging just under 42 a kick this year after the five yard delay of game. And RW McQuarters drifts back to the 10 for the Giants. Well, yeah, second and one, and the Jets unable to pick up that early first down. Graham hits that reverse spin kick. And he, he got the bite on it, and it's down to run the six yard line by Wallace Wright. Oh, the Giants will have the ball at their eight yard line. They're going to spot it when we return to Wallace first quarter. The NFL on CBS is sponsored by Southwest Airlines. With Southwest Airlines convenient nonstop flights, it's like having your own company plane. Refreshingly smooth Bud Light, always worth it. And by the new AT&T, your world delivered. They have shared uh, this facility for several decades and you can see off in the distance in that last shot the Derrick's construction has begun on the new stadium as Manning from his own end zone throws long long for Burris a jump ball and incomplete at the 45 of the Jets and of course the Burris with his size at 6 5 is a half foot taller than any of the defensive backs or at least the corners of the Jets and that jump ball should favor him. Well going after Revis too, the young rookie out of pit. And they'll do that early and often like he told us on Friday it's it's not my fault. I mean that's the way you break down the tape tape you got to go after somebody and that'll be the guy we go after. Manning not happy with the results of that long throw second and ten from the eight yard line Brandon Jacobs now the tailback the two hundred and sixty four pounder as he returns after the entry in the opener against Dallas. And they just do get the play off. It's Jacobs trying right tackle. And he barrels his way across the 15. He's a tough guy to bring down. In fact, uh, we were chatting with the Giants on Friday in a room, and uh, this big guy walks in, and we thought he was an offensive lineman. It was Jacobs. Yeah, he's a, he's a big guy. You get the attitude with this offensive line in front of him. He's, he's a perfect match. I know it was Tiki here for a long time, but that offensive line is very, very physical, and for a big physical running back it's a perfect matchup his first carry on return eight and a half yards he stays in on third down tries the other side and he's swarmed this time fumbled the ball picked up by the Jets and into the end zone goes Kerry Rhodes the safety and the Jets get a startling touchdown early as Jacobs Coughs up the ball, it rolls to Rhodes, and he gets the six. Well, anytime you've got a player that hasn't played in a while, and you're Tom Coughlin or a giant coach, you're worried about the old three pressures 
Three points of pressure carrying the ball. How long can you keep the ball maintenance high and tight? You know, you saw Tiki Barber for a lot of years keep that ball high and tight. It got loose. The elbow got out. It was ripped out, torn away, and Kerry Rhodes, as he was all the time last year, it seemed like, was right around the ball. 11 yards on the return for the touchdown of the fumble. And the extra point, ha point hammered home by Mike Nugent. And the Jets hit a 7-0 lead as a Jacobs fumble into the arms of Kerry Rhodes. And Rhodes with a Jet score. In his third year out of Louisville, Kerry Rhodes, the safety who had a big 2006 season. Many felt he should have made it to the Pro Bowl with four interceptions, five sacks, three forced fumbles. That would be his first touchdown as a Jet, and here's how it happened. He pulled it away. Yeah, he did, Dick, and Brandon Jacobs' elbow got away from his body, and that loosens up the hold on the ball, and Kerry Rhodes is able to rip it out. I mean, you just cannot let that elbow get out of there and you've been down for three weeks you haven't carried the ball you haven't been hit like that kick off by Nugent comes down to Ruben drones at the four and the veteran running back across the 20 yard line and uh, met by Brad Castle the linebacker from North Texas so Eli Manning and the Giants back on the field facing a seven nothing deficit. The NFL on CBS is sponsored by Quiznos, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, Toasty, and by Chrysler. The way our vehicles come together is what sets us apart. Chrysler, engineered beautifully. And welcome back. The Jets leading the Giants on the force fumble and touchdown. Derry Rhodes, and now it's Manning handing off to Derek Ward. Ward out to the 25-yard line. Let's go back to the fumble, Randy. If you look at it from behind, watch Jacob's elbow. Now, right there, see the air that's created when that elbow comes up? That's what Kerry Rhodes is taking advantage of. How many years did you see Tiki running here? And it, it, he had that ball high and tight and squeezed on three points of pressure. And there was, he was minus at least one point. Two yards for Ward on his carry, second and eight. And back to Ward. And he's hit in the backfield as charging through as Brian Thomas in his sixth year out of UAB. Well, already early on, this looks a little bit like a different Jets defense in that they're playing this game on the other side of the line of scrimmage. They've had the game taken to them for predominantly this first month. But whether it's been Jonathan Vilma meeting the lead back in the backfield or Thomas coming across the line of scrimmage, they are attacking. They're returning. The favor to the Giants. The Giants are attacking them on offense. Same thing the Jets are doing to the Jets Giants offense. So Manning uh, into the shotgun on third down eight. Dumps it out to his tight end Michael Matthews who is hit at the 30 and down at the 31 shy of the first down. Yeah, Revis, where, where's that number 24? Ironically, a lot of young corners spend time watching Champ Bailey because they want to be a complete corner like Champ Bailey. And that's the kind of play that a Bailey makes. And in a young corner, it's always a good sign. Not only coverage down the field, but that ability to come forward, make the tackle, stop the first down. And Revis has shown he is an outstanding tackler. In fact, uh, here is a rookie, his fourth on the defense in tackles coming in and leads and passes defended. Leon Washington at the other end of this Fiegel's punt. He's got some time to return from the 24 to the sidelines and out of bounds at the 38 yard line right into the Giants bench. David Tyree the special teams tackle first quarter Jets by seven. And welcome back to the Meadowlands and a reminder you can follow your fantasy players all of today's NFL action with lightning fast live scoring game centers online now at CBSSports.com. Only one first down total in this opening quarter that by the Jets who lead seven nothing. They begin this series at their thirty nine at wide receiver Brad Smith. At Smith in motion. And they screen it the other way, complete to Jones. And Jones gets about five out to the 44. R.W. McQuarters with the stop. Yeah, just in, just in case you're curious about guys being into this game, I mean, Castle gets away with a clip, but watch on the sideline, Wilson, 
Yeah. Gives a little flipper to Leon Washington. Just just a little taste of something. <laughs> Jones says, wait a minute. The other games we play here, that's our sidelines. I wasn't expecting that kind of welcome. On second and five, Washington with a little running back at 5'8", but he carries 200 pounds. Pennington shifts him directly behind the quarterback. Smith, the wide receiver, and that's Washington able to get to the corner, but not much yardage. Tackled at the 46-yard line, three yards short of the first down. The Jets had scored only one first quarter touchdown and now they have one on defense so one and one one for the offense one for the defense in the first quarter this year. Third down and four they spot uh, Washington out of bounds at the 45. They stack three receivers to the right empty backfield and now they'll bring Washington in. That's Kotri in motion. Pennington down the middle and wide open was caught. No, it's Chris Baker, the tight end, who has got terrific hands. And Baker pulls it in at the Giants 38 and a first down in front of James Butler. Hey, Dick, you talked about Washington staying in and moving back in. There's Washington right there, top of the screen. Watch what he does. He comes in and gets a nice chip. On Osa Yumanura, which also knocks off Tuck on that left side, that enables Pennington to step up into that throw. And a 17 yard gain for the Jets. First down at the 38. Thomas Jones able to fight through the initial contact and get to the 35 yard line, a pickup of three. Kavika Mitchell, the linebacker with the tackle. You know, coming into this game, getting a lot of attention here in the market with this game between these two teams is not only the whole offensive line for the Jets, but especially DeBrickishaw Ferguson because of O.C. Eumanyura's game. Very physical, extremely intelligent young man who's got a very analytical approach to football. And he is an impressive young man out of University of Virginia, the number one pick a year ago. Better bring the blue collar against this defense, though. Back to Jones, tries the middle, and picks up about four. Pierce there to secure the tackle. And it's more to being a tackle in this game than just drive blocking. You know, if you're Jabrickashaw Ferguson, you need to come off the ball and put your helmet right under the chin to send a message of OCU and Yura. Give him something to drive back against. And it's as much about oh, uh, it's as much about Jabrickashaw as it is Mangold and Moore and the rest of that offensive line on that play. Third and three and Pennington straight ahead tries to wedge out the first down on the sneak and it appears that uh, he has it and three yards in a cloud of sneak for Mangini and the Jets <laughs> and it is a first down that was the quick count and Pennington barely first under center down. before he took the snap one of the two in this game so far it's either been quick count or almost on second cadence they call it where he gets up almost looks like he's going to take the snap wants the defense to identify. Then he goes back into another cadence. Continuing with the no huddle, Eric Mancini likes that. Three first downs to nil for the Jets, who are now in field goal range with a 7 0 lead late in this opening quarter. Long count by Pennington. Jones hammered at the 25, falls forward in the arms of. Michael Strahan, the seven time pro bowler at defensive end, uh, who held out this summer and now feels he's back to 100% of his game. Well, he's on the important side of the Giants' defense, too, because you know the Jets are going to have to a tendency to run a majority of their plays over towards DeBrickishaw, over towards the left side with Nick Mangold at center. That means if it's cut back, it cuts back right into Strahan. There's one of the positive notes on the Jets when they're inside the 30 they have the best record of any team in the NFL eight times out of 12 they've scored touchdowns. Second and seven Baker the tight end moves in motion Pennington in trouble throws it away. Chris Baker was downfield. Kavika Mitchell was uh, right into the backfield after Pennington. Well, remember the theory here also with Chad Pennington about the knee, about his ankle injury. He hurt the ankle earlier in the season, and he's best not been as nimble as before. So 
he can fake all he wants and try to spin out. This this pass rush is going to seal him in and finish him off. He's got to get rid of that ball faster. It's Leon Washington in the backfield. They want to screen it and it won't work. And it's just as well that Washington did not catch the ball as Kiwanuka was right there, number 97, and it would have been a loss. Well, and this transition to linebacker from defensive end has gone pretty well for Kiwanuka. The key has been keep him going forward, let him attack. Let him be in position like he was on that play on the opponent's side of the line of scrimmage. You don't want him dropping in coverage, especially at this point, because he's really not a linebacker. He's still a defensive end trying to pretend he's a linebacker, and he's easy pickings for an offense. Well, downfield is Lavernius Coles down at the 10 yard line and injured on that last play. He was a good distance away from the screen. Apparently, his job was to run off the defensive back, get him out of the pattern, and uh, there was some. Contact well away from the play that takes Coles to his hands and knees. We'll return to the Meadowlands in a moment. Well, it's right knee into left knee. Just looking back, both looking back into the backfield and collision of legs there. You see that happen in hoops all the time, but caught him right underneath the kneecap with the other kneecap. And the players in today's world don't wear the old fashioned knee pads. That How just like bare knee. <laughs> none. That is, that is sock on me. Maybe they got their socks pulled up high enough for some pad. Mike Nugent comes out. He missed a 37 yarder at Buffalo that was critical last week. This one will be 42 and a half yards out of Graham's hole. And it is no good. Wide to the left. A disappointing result for Derek Mangini and the Jets fans as Nugent, who last year missed only three field goals, 24 for 27. He's missed three this year, three for six. Well, he's not going to get any sympathy on the other sideline. Tom Coughlin had times missed a 34 yarder last week and it's part of being a kicker especially in this building even on an absolutely beautiful in fact picture perfect early October day. There's never an easy day to kick in Giants Stadium. And that gives the Giants decent field position on the miss from their own 33. Seven nothing a minute 23 to go in this opening quarter. Eli Manning. And he slides to the 40 yard line. They'll mark it at the 39. As we were reminded to check out the new NFL.com, you can see exclusive video highlights from all of today's games, stats, exclusive video, much more. All you have to do is go to the new NFL.com. Right, last play is a good example, Dick, of you know, you man against any quarterback, especially even Eli, who's not known to throw. Man defense means people are running off, and he had plenty of room to get those six yards. Derek Ward now in the backfield is tight end Jeremy Shockey lines up on the left side Manning then screens to the right and Ward tackled immediately and a good play made by the rookie David Harris from the University of Michigan ball was down Calling there was down. no fumble but Harris boy he read that well for a young linebacker didn't he really does I mean this defense is flat attacking and right now this Giants offense just looks like they're surprised. It's like you didn't read the press clippings guys. Oh, we're supposed to have the defense that attacks. Four yard loss on the play. And it's third down and eight. Manning is two for five in this opening quarter for two yards passing. And they'll not get a playoff. The end of the first quarter with a score of the Jets seven. The Giants nothing. You're watching the NFL on CBS. Gary Rhodes fumble return for a touchdown 11 yards as Brandon Jacobs fumbled the only score Giants uh, like the Jets scoring only one touchdown on offense in the opening quarter in five games of the season. They're 0 for 3 today on third downs as we open this second period to Kenberg and Randy Cross at the Meadowlands third down and eight ball at the 35 Giants territory Jacobs there with Manning here comes 
the blitz. They pick it up nicely, and Manning has to scramble. 40, first down at the 45, and he's out to the 48. Second scramble by Manning, picked up uh, six yards on his first effort. Nice job, especially by Kareem McKenzie, the ex-Jet, Chris Snee, Sean O'Hare on that right side, sealing off the blitz, sealing off the defensive line. And letting uh, Eli do something he, I guess he would, he doesn't mind doing, but he'd rather not do, get out and run, but smartly doesn't slide, gets that first down first, then goes down. So 19 yards on two scrambles by Manning to advance to the 48-yard line. That run of 13, longer than any Jets run all season. This is Jacobs atoning for his fumble as he rips off an 11 yard gain. Rhodes bumps him out of bounds. You know, in that formation they ended up getting into, Boss, the, the rookie tight end out of Western Oregon, is that fullback in front of him, leading, and not a particularly great block, but just getting a quick chip. You can begin to appreciate when Brandon Jacobs is healthy and running full speed, not only his size, but also he's got good speed. Much like a Larry Johnson, he was very deceiving and gliding as a runner. He stepped out a yard shy of the first down, give him nine on the carry at the 43. On second and one, right back to the big running back. In fact, that's his license plate. It is B I G R B, and he is all of that. Well, he should have one goal right now. That's hold on to the B A L L because it's getting a little bit loose and he's coming out of the game. And one of the first things to remind him, I think, when he gets back over there is look, three points, get that elbow in, keep that ball high and tight. It's getting loose. Derek Ward replacing Jacobs, who contributes to this drive after the missed field goal. Best penetration by the Giants to the Jets, 37. Fake to Ward. Manning underneath. Wide open is Shockey. 30, 20, and to the 17 as Eric Smith drags him down. First down, Giants. Well, we're starting to see a little pop and sizzle out of this group up front for the Giants. I talked about how they were tough and physical, and they were getting it taken to them, but they're running the ball. They're protecting Eli well, and they're blocking like Shockey likes to run after he catches with an attitude. No touchdowns in the last six games. Led the Giants in catches last year with 66. That's his second today. 20 yards on the play. Jacobs back in. And he gets the call. Runs right through a tackler. And it takes three Jets to drag him down. Led by Eric Smith. Well, we talked to Jonathan Doma yesterday, and we said, hey, you're giving away 35 pounds when you meet Brandon Jacobs. What are you going to do? He said, I'm going to strap it on, and then I know I'm going to have a big headache at the end of the game. Well, you, what you have to do is you have to hold on. He strapped it on. He brought a hit. But as we see by so many young football players, he didn't hold on and drive his feet. The whole idea is to hold on, drive your feet, and wait for help. Big gain on first down, second and four. Ward now he takes his share of the action and uh, able to twist down to about the eight yard line. It'll be a yard and a half shy of a first down. You know tight ends had a lot of success against this defense last week up in Buffalo Dick and this is the part of the field you mentioned that Shockey didn't have a touchdown. Well tight ends for the Buffalo Bills sure made some big catches last week and it has to be something Shockey noticed when he was watching tape and he's got to hope that Eli noticed when he was studying it himself. Third down and a long one. Red zone offense, the Giants only six touchdowns in 14 trips, less than 50% this year. Shockey in motion. It's Ward, number 34. He has a first down, he has a touchdown! He wears number 34. His idol, Bo Jackson. Bo inspired him as a young Pop Warner player in South Central Los Angeles, and he ran like Bo on that one. Well, Jeremy Shockey in motion. Nice job on Hobson. And then it's just, remember we talked about finish and that the Jets weren't finishing some of their things? There was nothing unfinished on that play. Ward finished, Shockey finished, and the old line finished. That a very impressive drive. Times in for the extra point. Missed one last week. 
Nails this to tie it at seven. 67 yards in nine impressive plays. Eight yards on the touchdown by Derek Ward. Nine plays, 67 yards. Brandon Jacobs and Derek Ward sharing the load, and Ward getting the payoff from eight yards out. He was a Jet originally, drafted in the seventh round in 2004, was on the practice squad, and the Giants picked him, and he's uh, just been a good, solid reserve player. And then this year, because of Jacobs' injury, he stepped in and been more than solid. Times. Hits this one deep. Leon Washington will take a knee. Jets will open at their 20 yard line when uh, we return to the Meadowlands where the Giants uh, an impressive drive tying it up at seven on the legs of Derek Ward. The NFL on CBS is sponsored by Comfort Inn by Choice Hotels. Warm, welcoming and worry free. Book today at choicehotels.com. The Civic from Honda. Reverse your thinking. And by Xbox 360 and Halo 3. And welcome back to the Meadowlands. 10.54 left, second quarter. Jets and Giants even at seven. Chad Pennington brings the Jets out of the huddle. He's got the second best completion percentage in the league. Tom Brady at 79%. And Pennington at almost 77%. And this quarter has been his best, the second. Leon Marks Thomas James Jones, who gets the call and picks up about three to the 23. Well, JB has our first update of this Sunday. Dick and Randy, a scary moment for Trent Green here. Watch the middle of your screen, number 99. Travis Johnson knees Green in the head, who's trying to deliver a block for his teammate. Medical staff is examining here. We'll keep you updated. Back to Dick and Randy. We're hoping that be more positive report. Let's hope that that isn't serious. Second and seven for Jones. Tripped up in the backfield for a loss of a yard. Hey Dick, I want to show in that touchdown run two unsung heroes, which are almost about oh I don't know, getting up on 600 pounds of oomph. Chris Snee and backup tight end Matthews 88. Look at that combination block. Jonathan Vilma couldn't get near him because he had that block out in his lap. Well, during our commercial break, I love Randy said you saw it the first time. He said, oh, is that sweet? We got to show it. A couple of great blocks leading the way for the touchdown. Third down and eight. Pennington has a man open and hits Cotry across the 30 and up for a first down by a yard. In Europe, drifting back from his defensive end position to make the tackle and the injured Jet on the play. Oh, is that Mangold? It appears to be number 74, Nick Mangold, the outstanding young center of the Jets. We'll have a report when we return. Welcome back, Kimanuka on the left, Mangold on the right. We showed a knee to knee with a wide receiver and a cornerback earlier. Here's another knee to knee. Just impacted. It looked like it hit him right above the kneecap on the thigh. So Kiwanuka and Mangold collide. Wade Smith replaces Mangold at center. So you're always concerned about that first snap. Especially shotgun. And uh, Pennington not ready for it. And indeed. The snap made and handcuffed him. He wasn't anticipating the ball coming that quickly. And of course, with this no huddle offense, there are more subtleties involved in the exchange between the Is this a, is this a personal foul, Dick, against the Giants? Ball start on the offense. Okay. Number 10. Going forward at the snap. Five yard penalty. First down. That wasn't his intent to be going forward at the snap. He got the ball snapped into his midsection. Penalty nonetheless, but. Wade Smith brings that ball up early. We talked about that double cadence kind of effect, early cadence and then the late cadence. But like he was about to go into his second cadence when he got the ball. Brad Smith in at wide receiver in this set for the Jets. First and 15. Jones. 
makes the turn, but not much yardage there as Kavika Mitchell at that linebacker spot pushed him out. You know, Dick, when this football team for the New York Jets get in this that deep running back position, it, it's amazing how often they run the ball. And it's, it's scary. 68 out of 71 times in that formation. Wow. Coming into the game, and they just ran it again, and again it was a run to the left side. Short game of just a yard. Eight and a half minutes remaining, opening half, tied at seven here at the Meadowlands. Draw to Jones. Can't quite kick his way free from the grasp of Matthias Kiwanuka. What a good play made by the second year backer from Boston College. He had to feel really happy for this kid. The, the first couple of games of the season, he had to be suffering with his transition. He had a rough preseason. But the last two weeks, you see Nick Mangold back in at center for the Jets. The last two weeks, Kiwanuka has really been turned loose by letting him just attack again. Third down and a dozen, and the Giants defense digs in. Here comes the pass rush, and the throw by Pennington to the sidelines incomplete to Coles. He caught the ball, but he was out of bounds. No, oh, they said out. he stayed in bounds. They're going to call that pushed out by the Giants. What an incredible catch by Coles. It didn't bear he had any chance of catching and keeping both feet in. But, Dick, remember, perfect placement. Before the safety can get there over the corner and it was a force out and remember the whole idea of a force out is would he have come down inbounds if he had not been hit and clearly he would have come down inbounds. He's fact, got the ball perfectly in his hands. In fact he almost came down anyway inbounds with that right foot the second foot. It's a 28 yard play but Tom Coughlin in disbelief has tossed the red flag on the challenge. But I can you challenge. It's the force out part. No but is he, he, he can challenge the catch. Was it a catch. That could be challenged but I, my understanding is as part of a force out play that a force out basically. Once it's ruled a force out it can't be challenged. That being a, then a judgment call. And. Uh, Referee Carollo working with uh, Coughlin may have been saved. Yeah. You can save the challenge here. Take the flag the back. Wow. Well. A challenge is ruling on the field that it was a catch with the force out. We'll review the play to see if he maintained control of the ball. Yeah. You can challenge the catch, but you can't challenge the force out. And you know you can rip Chad Pennington for not having a strong arm, and goodness knows enough people do. But was that as accurate as that ball could ever possibly be? Look at it, catches it like an outfielder, goes up with one hand, then pulls it in, and almost still got the right foot down. We'll be right back. The NFL on CBS is sponsored by NYSE Euronext. One market, infinite possibilities. And by Sprint, proud sponsors and avid fans of the NFL. An athlete with a ballet move and then look at this dexterity one hand pulls it in. Does he maintain it all the way to the ground. Yes. The receiver maintained possession of the ball. First down. The Giants are charged the first time out. Did you see Lavernius Coles get that hand over the tip of the ball. And he squeezed it and had that hand over the tip. It never even budged. Perfect play all the way around but. You know the, the fact of whether or not it was a catch was the only thing that Tom Coughlin could have possibly had any doubt in his mind and he didn't have a particularly good angle from where he was standing. <laughs> Pennington with a, a wink to salute that 28 yard connection with Lavernius Coles his favorite target although with each game Jericho Katri gets his share plus as well. First down at the Giants 43. Washington dragged down from behind at the 41. Boy, that OC human Europe is everywhere. And the only reason that was a gain of any yards at all was Washington's speed, pure and simple. He was able to cut it up and just you hear that term about taking what you can just lower on your shoulder and get what you can get. There was nothing there. And he got positive yards just because he just turned it up and had the speed to pull it off. Jones now in the backfield with Pennington. At the 41, second and eight. This Jets offense with each game looking more and more like 
Peyton Manning and the Colts offense. Jones got some blocking. Good hard running after the first contact inside the 35. He's close to a first down. As Pierce and Mitchell, the two linebackers, collaborated on the stop. The thing's going to be about a about a foot, foot and a half short. Jets may be asking for a measurement. Well, Penny, then we told you that he's been very accurate this year, and especially in this quarter. 25 for 28 in the second quarter, 90 percent. Now, if you add the two for two today, 27 for 30 passes in the second quarter of this season. <laughs> and it is a couple of lengths shy of the first down. You know, the, the, the stats part, Dick, is, is something I think in some offenses you can be deceiving because we've had so many the last two years. Last year was the all time high as quarterbacks in general completions. This year is on a pace to break that. That's kind of, give me a quarterback who's going to put the ball in the end zone. That's that to me score points is much more important than hey I want a pretty completion percentage or complete com, a, a pretty rating because the defensive coordinator like Spagnolo there you just saw he doesn't worry about pretty and short passes he wants the big ones to stop. Well Pennington on third down and inches. Keeps his fullback Darian Barnes in. He's in front of Jones, and Pennington will take it himself and easily makes the first down. Coming up, Sprint halftime report. JB and Company will have all the latest early NFL scores and highlights coming up on the Sprint halftime report. Jets and Giants, 7-7, and a first down for Pennington. And the, the New York Jets with the clock ticks down to the six minute mark here in the second quarter. Giants are thinking pass. They've got that four defensive end line in again. Tenth play of the drive. Smith, one of the wide receivers, along with Cotchery and Coles. Leon Washington hit in the backfield and brought down by Justin Tuck, the third year. Defensive end from Notre Dame. Oh, those Irish eyes are smiling today after their upset win at UCLA last night. Yeah, thanks. I couldn't wait to you mention that. <laughs> uh, you know, the, one of the great strengths of a defense that features four defensive ends is if you're going to run sideways, you're not going to be successful. A lot of speed. When you see four defensive ends, you've got a trap, pull, hit them inside. They're not as big when they're that quick. No second and long for Pennington under center. Good protection. Intercepted. Picked off by Madison. The veteran corner is at the 40. The 50. Out of bounds at the Jets 44. And the Giants fans love that theft. What a nice job by Sam Madison working on that backside coming out of his coverage reading Chad Pennington. He's trying to throw the ball to Cotchery balls in the air too long. Madison's able to come off his guy poach underneath and get himself an interception. That was a veteran move. Sam Madison four times a pro bowler in Miami. That's his. 34th career interception and it places the Giants in Jets territory at the 44 25 yards on the return fake to Ward Manning fires to Shockey and well off the mark covered by Kerry Rhodes here's Sam Sam Madison right there at corner watching this zone defense he funnels the receiver away, then he sits and he breaks on the ball. He broke on the ball like a receiver would break on the ball. And I call that a veteran move. That's usually a veteran move because you spend a better part of a week studying an offense. You see a formation. They have certain patterns they throw out of that formation. He jumped that too fast. Pennington picked off for only the third time this year. That's his ward breaking tackles. As he drives to near the 35 yard line, a yard and a half shy of a first down, Victor Hobson, the tackler. 
You know, Ward as his percentage coming into this game after the first month of the season filling in so well for Brandon Jacobs. He's just he's done wonders for this offense. It's, it's hard to believe maybe Ruben Drones would have been there to be the all the time guy at his point is this point in his career. But Ward has just blossomed given this opportunity. It's third and closer to two than one. Giants need to get inside the 34. It's Ward and he does just that picks up six yards and a first down at the 30. Kerry Rhodes brings him down. You know Brandon Jacobs is coming back into the game to bring a little hammer in and this is the combination I think that will be best for this offense because for the first month look at the names he's next to Alexander Johnson Brown McGahee. That's some pretty stiff company for a, for a kid that was drafted in the seventh round and signed as a free agent. Out of NAIA Ottawa Kansas where he rushed for over 2000 yards his one season. A 7-7 seven, seven tie, 324 to go on the half. Manning throws. It is incomplete and almost deflected for a possible interception. David Barrett covering Lexico Burris. That was an, you know, we haven't seen Kerry Rhodes blitzing very often. But Eli Manning, if he could have held on to the ball, would have been able to get a hold, get, get rid of this thing and completed it. But Kerry Rhodes coming from that safety position where he was up on the line of scrimmage. What a nice job. Great call because you could probably count on one one hand the number of times Kerry Rhodes blitzed this year and it seemed like he blitzed five times a game last year. Manning has almost as many yards running as he does passing in this first half. He has 19 yards on three scrambles and 22 yards throwing the ball three for eight in the half. Jacobs on that last carry for short yards brings up third and long. Jet scoring on a fumble return by Kerry Rhodes of 11 yards in the first quarter and the Giants answering on a rushing uh, drive of some 67 yards and Derek Ward's eight yard touchdown run. And just get it off in time. Manning in trouble throws it away. There was no receiver there. We'll see yeah, what they're going to call. Absolutely. Flag goes down. Victor Hobson was the man who blitzed cleanly and got Manning before he could set up. No receiver and inside the inside the box. That was just desperation and not a good idea. Should have just ate that loss. And that'll bring up fourth down plus the loss which will make it a much more difficult field goal and maybe no field goal try at all. Intentional grounding, number 10, offense. This penalty is a spot foul. It'll be third down with the spot of the pass. Correction, it's fourth down. They lose yeah. the, the down on that penalty. Well, the only player, even in the direct vicinity, comes from this direction. It's Brandon Jacobs coming up in protection, blocking the linebacker. But he falls down on the ground. He's nowhere near. No, like four yards away. So that was an excellent call. That ball was nowhere near an eligible receiver. That should have been called. Would have been a 46 yard attempt for a field goal, but the penalty takes them out of field goal range for Lawrence Tyne. So in the punt is Jeff Fiegels. Leon Washington at the other end. And Fiegels able to put the back spin on his kick. Down by Chase Blackburn, the linebacker, and the Jets will begin from their own seven yard line. And a reminder Tuesday on CBS he's in power. There's nobody he can trust, not even his family. Jimmy Smith's in Kane, Tuesday, 10 9 Central on CBS. Uh, both teams with field goal opportunities. They Jets missed their opportunity from 42 to get take a 10 nothing lead and a penalty takes the Giants out of their chance to grab the lead on a field goal. 219 left in the half. Leon Washington 
And the little man powers his way out to about the 13. Sam Madison, who had the interception to start that last chance for the Giants, makes the tackle there a flag down. The Jets are applauding. Personal foul, face mask, 97, defense, 15 yard penalty, automatic first down. Matthias Kiwanuka grabbing the mask and that'll cost the Giants 15 and this also changes your thinking you've got three timeouts you've got two 13 left on the clock there goes the the hand goes in there and then the face mask doesn't look to me must have been early on because it sure wasn't there in that part that the face mask was grabbed but this changes your thinking you can attack more now you're in plus territory. Out to the 28 yard line with the first down 201 and uh, Pennington will use this two minute warning to talk things over with the Jets bench. It's tied at seven. And as you look at the two sidelines quite a contrast in those two men a 25 year difference between the veteran head man Tom Kaufman of the Giants and Eric Mangini in his second year only 36 years of age but there's no question about both men and their attention to detail. As you visit with them uh, before the game, they've got everything nailed down. Well, a couple of penalties for the Giants, one intentionally grounding, and now the face mask have uh, given the Jets a chance with two minutes to go. Pennington sidesteps the pressure and flips one in the flat, complete to Kotri, who is hit hard and knocked out of bounds. Dockery over there, along with Antonio Pierce. If you're a Jet fan, Dick, you, you've got to just have your heart in your throat when you see this ball stay in the air that long. I know it's a touch pass but you have the defense attacking the way the Giants are and you give them that opportunity to see the ball that long. Punishing six yard game. Pennington flips it out to Washington incomplete. Might have been guilty of taking his eye off the ball as he uh, looked into that blue jersey giant defense. It was about to be 29 on 29 if he had kept his eye on the ball and hadn't attempted it. Well, they're a long way from the Giants 34, but that would be about the spot for a 51 52 yarder in Nugent's range. Need this first down, still plenty of time for the Giants offense and Eli Manning, too. They have two timeouts remaining. And third down, Pennington throwing complete. What a catch again by Lavernius Coles. What? An incredible athlete he is. He just is spectacular. 21 yard gain and a timeout spent by the New York Jets. Well, that was uh, what we expected to see from Plexico Burris, what he's been doing all year, and Coles has made two outstanding leaping catches. One one handed. This one, that's a good three, four feet off the ground, catching the ball at its highest point. If you're a young wide receiver you hear that term from your coaches all the time GB or wide receiver go get it at the highest point no one could possibly get up any higher or in that case was even close to being as high as Lavernius Coles he plays pretty tall for 5'11 doesn't he 21 yards on that catch and a 53 yard first half for Lavernius Coles and you see the target line for a Nugent field goal but we remind you he had a chance at 42 earlier and was wide left. Uh, the issue is not power. Nugent's got plenty of power in that leg. It's accuracy. Jets have been successful on third down. That last uh, catch by Coles gave them seven for ten in this half. And a first down now at the Giants 45. Washington caught early by Justin Tuck and then Kavika Mitchell finished the job. Clock running at 122 121. Again the Jets have two timeouts left. Pennington throws into traffic and complete to Brad Smith and the all purpose Smith who can throw it he can run it and he can catch it. Has a first down for the Jets at the 32 yard line and the Jets spend their second time out. And a reminder coming up is the sprint halftime report with JB and company all the latest NFL scores and highlights coming up on the sprint halftime report.
I guess I wonder if we'll get more dental news from Shannon Sharp. That was intriguing how that was, they too, took, that was too much information <laughs> is what that was. Man, that's a rough childhood. <laughs> I've heard they'll tie the string around around it and the other end of the door. Knob, yeah. Yeah. But getting out the players and taking care of business, that's uh, the way they did it in the Sharp clan. Well, now they're in, they're in field goal range, Dick. So you don't exactly have that in your hip pocket. You want to improve your position as much as you can. But you have to also be mindful of the other guy. You know, the Giants have two timeouts. You don't want to go pass, 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 suddenly put yourself in field goal situation and leave too much time on the clock. 69 seconds left in this first half. Triple right formation as they bunch three receivers. And Pennington throws underneath it complete to Cotri and he's inside the 25 to the 24 yard line short of the first down and uh, the Play Jets and not not they're quick but not oh, hurrying there's they've got one time out in the bank. Forty five seconds Pennington open underneath his. Kotri again he gets out of bounds to stop the clock and with it has another Jets first down at the Giants 16 yard line and just a smart job too of clock clock uses by Chad Pennington seeing the blitz knowing where that man matchup was going to be and Kotri also being very mindful of where he is and when he is and getting out of bounds you see a lot of young players try to turn it up and eat up a couple extra yards at the expense of time there. This surprise you the Jets 126 yards passing the Giants 22 in this first half. Spread formation shotgun Pennington. He's going for six for Brad Smith. Touchdown. Brad Smith his first touchdown of the season and that might be his first as a Jet. We'll double check it. Kevin, Kevin Dockery was the defender. Well, sort of. Kevin Dockery did not have a very good idea of where the heck he was or where the heck Brad Smith was. Chad Pennington may put that ball up there for both of them to get it, and only one went up for it, and it was his guy, Brad Smith. And we talked to Derek Mangini yesterday, and he was raving about Smith. He said he's such a wonderful guy to coach, and he can do so many good things for me. Well there's a six point good thing as Mike Nugent adds the extra point and the Jets lead at 14 to 7 on Brad Smith's first NFL touchdown. Well remember too this is 5 8 in Dockery against 6 2 in Smith. And it came it really came into fact or came into play more from the standpoint of Dockery doesn't turn and jump for the ball so Smith's able to use his 6 2 without having to get really get up much. For that ball. Dockery was kind of out of position and that generally defensively out of sorts. Beautiful play by the second year player out of Missouri. A minute and 46 seconds to go 93 yards in nine plays. And remember that face mask penalty. How big was that early in the drive? Absolutely. And set up before that by the illegal ground, the grounding the ball, which cost him the down and gave the Jets back the ball. Smith, who was an outstanding quarterback running and passing at the University of Missouri, drafted in the fourth round, and he is uh, the Jets' answer to Slash. He's the Cordell Stewart in many ways, although he's not been used as a passer. We asked Mancini about that and had a twinkle in his eye. He said, well, you never know what we have in. We might let him throw the ball as well. Well, he's also, he, what he is is he's a great roster spot, Dick. Because he counts in, on your roster as a quarterback, in your mind as a quarterback, a wide receiver, a running back, returner. a returner. That's the longest drive, scoring drive of the season for the Jets, 93 yards. And now the kickoff down to Ruben Drones. And the veteran Drones is hit high around the shoulders and dropped at the 21 yard line. David Harris, the rookie from Michigan, with a tackle. And one thing you don't want to do if you're the Giants here is put the ball and make it available with 28 seconds to go. I understand you have two timeouts left. But like you pointed out so well, Dick, 22 yards total passing offense for Tom Coughlin's football team. You're down right now the way you are. Don't make things any worse. It's 14-7. You put the ball in the wrong place, it can be 21-7 before you go in. 
And Manning comes out and the shotgun with Ward with him. We'll see if it's just a matter of well, taking the snap and handing off to Ward on a run. Or will they put it in the air? And a throw. Fires underneath and it's intercepted by the Jets at the 27 yard line. You called it, Randy. Take a chance, pay the price. Jonathan Vilma's first interception of the season. He's had uh, six now in his career with the Jets. The best matchup was on the far outside with Burris. Burris had a huge size advantage, but Jonathan Vilma, he's free, follows all the way. The eyes of Eli Manning steps right underneath Revis and Toomer to pick that ball up. I mean, like you said, that's exactly what I was talking about. If it's going to be thrown, make it high percentage. If you're going to throw it. So now with 23 seconds left and one timeout, the Jets have a chance to add to their 14-7 advantage. Pennington taking his time. And then hands off to Washington and Washington lost in a crowd of blue jerseys who had penetrated uh, the line of scrimmage. Very little there as uh, Kavika Mitchell credited with the tackle and with 10 seconds they haven't called time yet. They're, they're, lining, down they're the ball lining up one. to down it. A little confusion there and now finally the time called with four seconds on the clock. Else at the 29. Nuchin will try a long field goal to end this first half. And that was called from the sideline by Eric Mangini standing right next to the official. And how out of whack are these things? I mean, I'm not a fan of quarterback ratings, but I'm not the sharpest knife in the drawer. But I know a 0.0 can't be good for anybody. <laughs> well, it's nice that you make certain admissions publicly. <laughs> Ball at the 29, which means uh, this one will be about two at 46, 47 yards. Nugent missing from 42 earlier. Well, the most glaring thing about that stat you just saw, quarterback-wise, is the fact that you've had the interception where you had the interception, and you've been limited so much by the yard. This will be a 47-yard attempt. This is a very big chance for the Jets to enjoy a 10 point lead at the intermission. It is good. Justin slide inside that right upright. So the interception by the Jets cost Manning and the Giants another three. It's 17 7 at the intermission. We'll be back after a word from your local station. And welcome back to the Meadowlands. We're ready for the second half. The Jets with 10 points in the last two minutes of that opening half to take the 10 point lead. And the numbers, as we look at the first half statistics, sometimes they lie, sometimes they're unimportant, but these tell an interesting story. Well, goodness knows television, we can kind of statue to death at times, right. but between the, the quarterback's days so far in the first half and then the team stats of what happened in the first half tells you a lot. I care about two lines in that picture right there. It really speaks to me. That's the points off turnovers and the number of sacks. For the Giants to have no sacks, that means one thing. You're going to get a good chance to expose their back seven. Because if their front four aren't getting to you, you can throw the ball against this defense. And a reminder that today's doubleheader action on CBS is brought to you in high definition. Ready Giants for off. the kickoff to open this second half. Eli Manning waits his turn. He's had a lot to think about during that halftime break. And the kickoff goes through the end zone for the touchback for the Giants. As we compare statistically the two quarterbacks' performances of the first 30 minutes. Yeah, not so much. It doesn't speak well for, for Eli Manning and the Giants in general, but you start this second half, your best hope. Remember we said same old Giants in my crosstalk to mm -hmm. start with? That's what they need. They need to get back to the pass rush. They need to get back to the running game, which when they had their real successful drive in this game, it was highlighting Brandon Jacobs and letting this offensive line just come off and not back up. Something about this home field, Eli Manning, he's lost five of the last six games here at Giants Stadium. And here comes the run. And the big man, Brandon Jacobs, plows his way for about seven on his first carry of the second half. 
There are the possessions for the Giants in the first half. The one touchdown coming on a very well executed drive. Most of it on the ground, 67 yards. And that ill-advised pass there at the end of the end of the first half. And what you just saw him just the one play that should be outside of maybe a play action off that play. That should be this offense in a nutshell early on in the second half to build confidence. Jacobs as you saw with 33 yards now rushing Ward has 30 and Manning 19 three less than he has uh, gained passing again big hole and Jacobs runs it out to the 35 yard line two carries and 15 yards for Jacobs carry Rhodes the safety required to come in to make the tackle ball squirted loose but clearly marked there by the umpire down by a contact you know, we, we can sometimes I think in football get so complicated and I guess cute by scheme and design and and will that we want to see so many nice things in the passing game and trickeration and whatnot. Just be boring. Just slam it. I mean, be who, be who you really can be. Turn your defense loose and be boring. Loaded up to the right side now. See if they run that way. Now it's a play action and Manning flushed out of the pocket has some running room. Now he throws back across the middle to Burris. And Plexico's into Jets territory. His first catch is all the way to the 33 in Jets territory. That was a really nice job by Brandon Jacobs because if you're not going to give it to him, fake the ball in there to him and let him block for Eli setting up Burris down the field. This is just a nice job by Burris of finding his quarterback, presenting his chest to Eli as he was scrambling and moving across the field and giving him somewhere to throw the ball. But he was bought that time by Brandon Jacobs stopping the blitz. Longest pass play of the game for the Giants, 33 yards. Now Ward in a tailback. And he gets the call. And he gets a hole. He's inside the 25. And it's like a different team that's come out of the clubhouse here in the second half. The Giants are eating up big chunks of yardage. You know it's been the missing part of the formula for Tom Coughlin last week for that Sunday night game. There was so much talk about their defense being good. You almost didn't notice the fact their offense is pretty average. The first half they were below average today. You Just take, take be that, simple. Yeah you take that Mitchell fumble return away and it's a nine to three game. Or Ten to three. And it's Ward. Digging his way inside the 20 for a first down. At the 19 Rhodes again required to make the tackle from his safety position and as big as Brandon Jacobs is you don't lose much when you go to Derek Ward and let him start running the ball because he has the ability to finish these runs off so well for a guy he's his size and he really takes a lot of pride in the way he can finish it off like the big guy Jacobs. Now it's Brandon Jacobs. Played his college ball at Auburn until uh, his junior year, then transferred to Southern Illinois for his senior season. And he carries right side, and he has a hole. He's at the 10. He's at the 5. He's at the pylon, and touchdown, Giants. Brandon Jacobs first touchdown of the season and did they ever run right run right and were they successful going that way. And right behind the fullback Hedgecock number 39 had his problems in that Sunday night game but he follows the fullback and Snee the whole way and they do not let him down and he's not about to be stopped by an arm tackle. Extra point by. Lawrence Tynes, the father of three months old twins, is Tynes. He said, nice thing about the, the games, you get to stay in a hotel and you can't hear the babies crying all night. We finally got a good night's sleep last evening. Tynes adds the extra point. The combination of Ward and Jacobs uh, running at will on the opening drive of this second half as the Giants pull to within three. Across the way, the one two running punch for the Giants of Derek Ward and Brandon Jacobs. They were key on that 80 yard drive and only six plays. The payoff on 19 yard run by Brandon Jacobs. His first score of the year. 
And the Giants made some adjustments at halftime or perhaps were motivated. I believe the motivated part was a lot more than the adjustments. They sure played awfully hard on that drive. Here comes Leon Washington on the kickoff return. Got some daylight. 40 could go all the way. Can they catch Washington? No, sir. He has a touchdown. Oh, my. His second kickoff return for a touchdown this year. He went 98 yards against Miami. This was a matter of making about three moves by Washington and running almost directly straight up the field in the process. It was a middle return. Very nice blocks, very poor coverage. And a whole lot of quicks by Washington. And kudos to special teams coach Mike Westoff. His returners have done it again. Here's Nugent to try the extra point. How quick do the Jets answer that big drive by the Giants to open this half? And then Leon Washington. That's the ninth touchdown by five different players under Westoff, most in the NFL. The NFL on CBS is sponsored by Southwest Airlines. With Southwest Airlines convenient nonstop flights, it's like having your own company plane. Lipitor. And by the Comcast Triple Play. Experience TV, phone, and internet together like never before. Lady of Liberty proudly out in the harbor. As we return to the Meadowlands across the Hudson River and Leon Washington, he returned again. Both of his kickoff returns for touchdowns, exactly 98 yards. As the quick hands are given to the Giants. Opening drive touchdown of the second half, and now it's Ruben Drone's turn. Drone to the Giants looks for a block, and he's tripped up at the 29-yard line. There are a couple little minor squiggles this way, but this is mainly about speed. He comes right off the edge of the of the uh, of the wedge there with dearth. 85 the backup tight end throwing a block right here. Now there's nothing but kicker in front of you. And I think Lawrence Tynes is twins that have a better chance of distracting him at that point because it's nothing but beep beep. See you later. Bye. He made a couple of quick moves, but he doesn't lose it. Bit of speed, does he? He's all does everything at 100% speed. A kickoff return, so a special teams touchdown, a defensive touchdown, and an offensive score for the Jets for the complete package. Now back to work for the Giants and Manning to throw underneath and complete. Got that one around the umpire. Victor Hobson makes the tackle of Derek Ward. Here's regular speed, and this isn't going to take real long. We're not going to bore you. Because once he hits the open field, you know, all RW McWarders can do is read the back of his jersey because he didn't catch him. And Mike Westoff, who's regarded as one of the very best special teams coaches, he works uh, so diligently, always has a wrinkle, and that's nine kick return touchdowns for Westoff as a New York Jets assistant. Five different players performing the task. Ward. Have to bring down. It takes uh, half of the defense for the Jets, led by Sean Ellis. Now you built some pretty good momentum with that last drive offensively for the Giants, and you have to continue being sort of true to yourself, true to what you were. You opened with a little play action dink to Ward, but you know it's very important for Tom Coughlin's football team to remember that speech at halftime. Remember that Booty was threatening to put on their backside and keep blasting away. Third down and a short three. Brandon Jacobs in. Manning shotgun. Shockey in motion. Jacobs breaks a tackle. And he's got the first down and more to the 44. Vilma and Smith team up on the stop. Now that is exactly what I'm talking about. Out of a two point stance, you're pulling back from the back side. You've got Snee and you've got O'Hara coming on that play and leading perfectly for Brandon Jacobs. Let this big guy, I know he hasn't been in a game in three weeks. He might start getting a little tired. 
Ward's not a, ba a bad change of pace, but let him keep pounding this defense. Leads all rushers today, 68 yards on only 10 carries. 6.8 average. Right back to Jacobs. And look at that line push forward. And Jacobs then able to move to the 47 before Brian Thomas first to make contact with the Jets. And we remind you tomorrow on CBS, see why critics call the Big Bang Theory the funniest new sitcom of the season. Tomorrow, 8.30, 7.30 Central Time on CBS. Yeah, there's a good example of kind of a non-play, kind of a mush-looking play that you look up at gain three yards. The offensive line, especially on that right side, Randy Cross getting a terrific push off the snap. Right back to the right side. Jacobs runs through one tackle and again digs his way to midfield and stopped there at the 50. Kenyon Coleman with a defensive tackle. And it's you have to really pay close attention at times when you get to this point of the season that, that people can get away from you. And if you're the Giants at two and two, you know Dallas can pull away pretty quick. They played them all night up in Buffalo. So there's a good chance you're in a position if you want to stay just two games behind them, you have to win this game. Midpoint of the third quarter with the Jets in front by 10. Third down and four. Manning steps away from pressure on the scramble. He's in trouble now. Can he get rid of it? Yes, he throws it away. Out of bounds. Eric Smith came over just in case, but the ball was clearly out of bounds. But the Giants have to give up the ball. It was. Uh, C.J. Mosley and Brian Thomas who put the pressure on Manning. So far it has not been one of the more memorable days for Eli Manning. He took his shot down deep trying to work against Revis. Then he had the grounding penalty. Five of 13. 61 yards. And an interception. Jeff Fiegel's in to punt it. Leon Washington. He's caught his breath now ready to return again. He's at the 10. This one very high. Will it go into the end zone? Yes. Well into the end zone. The touchback for the Jets at the 20 yard line. Pennington back to work when we return. This Mammoth Stadium which will serve as the home field for both the Jets and Giants until 2010 when the new structure immediately next door will be completed 82,500 Thomas Jones on first down and he can't get to the corner loses two as Matthias Kiwanuka there to run him out of bounds and you've noticed that uh, with this month being named the Breast Cancer uh, Prevention Month that we uh, are wearing our pink bows and hope that you and your way and everyone can uh, offer their contribution uh, to the most worthy cause. Pink, pink towels, towels. Yeah, pink towels on the sideline, signs. Quick toss is to Lavernius Coles, and again the Giants defense right there. Very little gain out to the uh, 20. Let's see where they mark it. No, the 19 yard line. So third and 11. Well, there's blood in the water now, and the Sharks are coming. All four defensive ends back in this front. Strahan cheering on the crowd. Tuck. That Strahan and Newman Yorov at the ends. And Kiwana, Kiwanuka and Tuck. Inside Brad Smith uh, lined up at quarterback and then hands off to Thomas Jones and I thought uh, Smith might uncork his first pass but did not and the Jets three and out on this sequence. But it is the play call you want against the four fast defensive ends. You don't want to go outside. You want to attack. You want to go straight at him. Graham to punt it. McQuarters on the return at the 21. And he's tripped up at the 27 yard line by Abram Elam. Timeout at the Meadowlands.
about my family. You better be careful out there. <laughs> the NFL on CBS is sponsored by the Ford F-150, built Ford tough. And by GEICO. 15 minutes could save you 15% on car insurance. Well, the hole has been dug a month ago. Construction began on the new stadium just outside the northern, actually the uh, eastern side of the current stadium. I'll show you more in a moment. As the Giants have it down by 10 here in the third quarter. Manning under pressure, throws incomplete to Jacobs. The new stadium will cost $1.3 billion privately financed by the Jets and the Giants. Who says that they can't get along? Largely privately funded stadium in U.S. history. Completed in 2010 will seat 82,500. I've built a house before. Can they lock that price in now? <laughs> <laughs> you want to bet that's what it ends up costing? Oh, my. Yeah, that's too <laughs> true. Second and ten. Jacobs behind the fullback Madison Hedgecock and Manning throws into the near flat to Burris and Burris hit immediately at the 38 yard line a gain of about five Barrett and Hobson were right there for the Jets. Hey, before that last catch by Burris now giving him two for the day you know when you've got Burris and Shockey and Toomer with zero catches equaling the same number that Derek Ward and Michael Matthews has have your passing game is way out of whack and I think a lot of the credit has to go to the Jets defense. They have really attacked and frustrated this this Giants offense extremely well. Progress to the 38 yard line brings up third and four. Tomer in motion to the inside he's been the quiet man flag down and the throw to Burris incomplete and getting away with a push was David Barrett along the sidelines. Flag down it appeared the Giants jumped offside. We'll see. Jonathan Vilma had lined up. Yeah, it was encroaching on, a blitz. on the Jets, absolutely. Offside, defense, 51, five yard penalty, first down. They needed four, they get five on the penalty. And they nearly uh, connected for six on the throw. Burris got his hands on it. Hey, it's what this defense has done so successfully. Bob Sutton and, and Eric Mangini have been smiling and dialing the defenses up and frustrating Eli Manning and that wasn't a bad call that was bad execution and taking a chance and trying to mistime it by Vilma. Now Jacobs the tailback set deep behind Manning and there they go right side again and this time the Jets ready for it the Wayne Robertson the nose tackle down low. Uh, put uh, his 310 pounds around the ankles of uh, Jacobs. Robertson, and Robertson will be the one that's the most stressed in this defense. If you're going to start bringing up and these linebackers and back and forth and sliding along the line, it's really Robertson's responsibility. And he's done a nice job the first four games of the season of holding things up inside because this Giants offensive line, that's exactly where O'Hara and Snee and Seibert are going to want to pound you right at the nose tackle. A rare one yard gain for Jacobs, second and nine. Manning, deep down the middle. Complete Burris at the 40, or is it? Yeah, they say the ball was down before it came out at the 39. Darrell Rivas trying to stop Plexico Burris. Well, this was beautiful play action, faking the ball to the back and that brings the linebackers up that means they can't drop back quite as far and when you have man coverage like that and a great big receiver like Burris working on a rookie you give Manning that kind of time he will keep moving this ball down the field. First down just inside the Jets 40 Derek Ward now the tailback. Blitz by Rhodes Burris is open 30. Straight arm inside the 25 yard line as he pushed Barrett out of the way. Another Giants first down. You know, it's amazing when you, you talk to a guy like Plexico Burris and he, he's come into New York and the job he's done this year with his high ankle sprain is something he's never really experienced. He says, you know, I don't know, I think it might be this artificial surface. Last Ball week I just 24. I tired out as the game went on. So it's important they're getting him involved now while the game's lasting early. 
because he says later on that ankle may not hold hold up very well. Doesn't practice a lick all week nope. long, but able to play on Sundays. First down inside the 25. Ward hit, gets a couple of yards. Good defensive thrust by the Jets as we go to JB. Hey, Dick and Randy, you guys know the futility of the Lions winning in Washington. They're 0 and 20. Take a look here as Andre Carter sacks John Kitna for the safety. Lions now trail by 13. It's been since 1935 that the Lions have won in Washington. Actually, that was in Boston. Back to Dick and Randy. <laughs> they were the Boston uh, Redskins then. Thank you, JB. I don't care if it's raining, frozen, or beautiful sun shining. Detroit can't play in that stadium or in that city. Manning over the middle, and it's complete. Sonoris Moss has his first catch of the day. The 5'8 receiver, Miami of Florida, younger brother of Santana of the Redskins. Well, it's nice placement by the ball, but Eli Manning is getting protection. The offensive line is part of the, the function of having the running game working that well. You play action fake, you're going to get a good amount of time to throw the ball. And they're really executing and really clicking right now offensively and trying to dull a bit this momentum of the Jets coming off that Leon Washington kickoff return. Down to the final minute and a half of the third quarter. Four straight completions for Manning. He hands off this time to Jacobs. And he is cut down on the low tackle by Kerry Rhodes. And of course, uh, all the players will tell you that a big back like Jacobs, if you're out in the open field, you better get down around the knees and ankles. Uh, you've got yeah, exactly. You got a guy 275 pounds, and Kerry Rhodes is a pretty good sized fellow. But you know, down there around the calves, ankles, and that cankles area, everyone's about the same size. A loss of a yard on the carry at the 13. The cankles. Yeah, I took a little anatomy in Canisio. Yeah, when you've got lineman's that. legs like me, that's what you have. You have cankles. You don't have ankles or calves. <laughs> Second at 11. Matthews, the tight end in motion, loads up the right side. Manning looks down the middle. Caught by Shockey. Touchdown. Jeremy Shockey, the Pro Bowler, finally with his first score of the season. Beautiful job. Jets are bringing the blitz. Actually had pressure free, but Kerry Rhodes can't bring down a Jeremy Shockey free running full speed. And Eli, that was his best drive of the game. Easy. Might have been his best drive of the year. Five straight completions. Uh, get the Giants in the end zone. Times with the extra point. And the New York Giants climb back within three. 13 yards on the touchdown to Shockey. Just seconds remaining in the third quarter. And Jeremy Shockey has given the Giants a touchdown reception of 13 yards. Capping a 68 yard drive in nine plays and uh, Manning very accurate given time found his receivers and it's a three point game. Leon Washington who returned the last kickoff 98 yards for a touchdown and times boots it. This time toward Brad Smith comes up to the seven to collect it. Oh, is he tripped up and he had daylight ahead as he falls at the 34 yard line. He was one giant away from a big return himself. You know, on that touchdown, Jeremy Shockey does a nice job of buying himself a little time with a jab step and then just dragging back across the formation, running free. You've got a man defense, and Kerry Rose gets kind of caught up in the wash and can't stay with Jeremy Shockey. Jets only five yards of offense here in the half. Of course, the 98 yard touchdown, the big play by Leon Washington. Pennington opens this series at the 33, final seconds of the third period. Good play action fake, throw down the middle, complete. Lavernius Coles, and uh, he'll get progress to the yard sticks. Jabril Wilson makes the stop. And uh, that'll be very close. I love watching Lavernius Coles play and, and just work with Chad because he knows what Chad needs. He knows where he has to get and where exactly Chad Pennington will hit him once he throws it. 
And that's the end of the quarter. First down on the catch by Coles. You're watching the NFL on CBS. Dickenberg. We open the fourth quarter here in the Meadowlands. Jets ball first down at their own 44, leading the Giants by three. Thomas Jones. Hard earned three yards. It's interesting, Randy Cross, you talked to both coach. Well, we'll get you that information in a moment. Uh, we understand we've got an update in New York. Hey, Dick and Randy, Najee Davenport having an outstanding day for the Steelers. This is his second touchdown run of the day. Five yards. Boy, they are all over the Steelers. 21 nothing in this one. Back to Dick and Randy. All right, thanks, JB. The Steelers at home. Seattle hoping to get out to a 4-1 start. Yeah, let you know how important that uh, Super Bowl matchup from two years ago really meant. It's all about 07 and 07 and anything close. Second down six, Pennington out of the shotgun. Throws complete to the tight end Chris Baker and Baker a first down at the Giants 36 yard line right back to JB. All right Dick and Randy and what we're going to show you here is David Gerrard hooking up with Dennis Northcutt capping a nine play 81 yard drive Chiefs have not been shut out at home since 1994 they're being blanked right now 17 nothing Dick Enberg Randy Cross. All right JB. Uh, David Gerrard uh, taking the spot from Byron Leftwich and he's paying dividends. Leon Washington can't get outside. Well covered by Sam Madison, the veteran corner, up to stop the play. If, if you had to say into this game what has been the biggest surprise or what has been missing, I'd have to say the Giants' defense that we saw last Sunday night, that we saw the last six quarters. They've been so dominant, such an attacking presence. Chad Pennington's done a very nice job of doing that. Hasn't exactly, you know, romped all over him, but when they've decided to attack, he's had an answer. A loss of three on that last play, second and 13. Here they come. Pennington steps away from pressure, throws downfield, incomplete to Coles. And Coles had that one on his fingertips. And such a spectacular receiver, you almost expect him to catch everything. That'd be otherworldly if he caught every single one. But, but compared to the two that he'd already brought in, that one looked pretty pedestrian. Oh, third and 13. Giants fans trying to inspire the defense to hold right here, keep the Jets out of field goal range. Toughest thing for Pennington in this offense is. Dealing with hand signals at their own stadium, or what used to be their stadium. Interesting road trip. Just does beat the clock. Pennington down the middle, wide open as Coles. And he has a first down at the 23 yard line in front of James Butler. And again, Pennington feeling the pressure coming from. Human Euro from the outside stepped up and hit his man. You want to be an NFL quarterback, you have to be able to do that. And that's stay in the pocket, knowing that you've got a defensive lineman headed for your chops. Coles having a Pro Bowl day, six catches, 80 yards for him. And the Jets now with a three point lead are in field goal range at the 23. Of course, looking for much more as. Pennington throws it up for grabs and it's going to be intercepted. Oh, that was ill advised as he threw it high and no chance for his receiver and it picked off by rookie Aaron Ross. That was awful. You're being nice. I mean, that was they picked up the blitz. There was something there, but it sure as heck wasn't where he threw it. That was terrible. We thought that that pass was intercepted in the end zone, but the ruling on the field was that the catch made by rookie Aaron Ross was at the one yard line. That has been challenged by Tom Coughlin. Well, they spotted the ball at the one yard line, saying that Ross had possession and that his momentum had carried him into the end zone, but that the possession had been in the field of play. So this is about the best way to look at it here is to see where exactly he is. Now does he actually have the ball he goes up and he's down right here 
And they've ruled that where the ball is spotted as we speak is on the one yard line. I believe the guy, the official that was right there on the ball had the right idea. I, I, there wasn't a chance in the world. Remember a couple of years ago, Seattle and Oakland play like that, and the man intercepting went into the end zone, and they gave a safety to the defense. And uh, so they changed the rule because uh, that seemed you know, unfairly. Uh, Look at Butler, too. Meanwhile, at the end of that play, he got away with a heck of a free shot on Chad Pennington right in front of Corolla. Last year, that would have been a flag. Oh, that's that's still a flag this year. Not today. Here's Bill Carollo after visiting the replays to see whether or not the ball's on the 20 or where it's currently placed at the one yard line. After reviewing the play, it's been determined the defender intercepted and possessed the ball both feet hit in the field of play by rule it's intercepting momentum the play stands as called. Mm -hmm. both feet in the in play both feet in play intercepting momentum she's no got different the ball than, yeah working on the sidelines both One, feet in two and then he's in to the end zone but the ball be spotted where he possessed it Ball is possessed, one foot, two feet, into the end zone. And it's not like the sidelines where you get the force out call. And probably, besides the 19 yards, they lose a timeout there on the challenge, the Giants. Well, that's a punitive call against Kaufman and the Giants. Well, I mean, that's the rule. That's the way yeah. it stands. So from just outside the one with Jacobs lined up deep in the end zone and Manning gives to him. And he's straightened up by Kenyon Coleman the defensive end of the Jets. Jacobs Plenty of time 12 minutes Coleman. plus remaining here in the fourth quarter Meadowlands in East Rutherford New Jersey with the New York Jets leading the New York Giants 24 21. Yeah I've always had a problem with that intercepting momentum. The defensive guy never really has a chance a defensive player to return it or to run with it and his momentum carries him into the end zone and I know he caught it two feet in. That's something every year at the seminar where we talk to right. and the interpretation of that yeah. has changed in the last uh, every time I see years. it I said no it should be a touchback. A couple of yards for Jacob second down and eight. From his own end zone throwing deep downfield and there's a flag a holding call against the Jets Andre Dyson as Plexico Burris might have gotten away for a long touchdown. That's Dyson be, with a grab. That's going to be a little illegal contact. Prior to the pass illegal contact 21 defense five yard penalty automatic first down. Now it can be subtle it can be as much as a. Just a palm and a hand into the side of the hip when he goes to try to go by you. But it was a, a quick grab into the middle of the chest that impeded him. It was the illegal contest contact past the five yards. That's one though that uh, Mancini might say if you're going to give up five yards that's a good time to do it. If you don't impede his progress that might be a 90 plus yard touchdown. There comes Jacobs head down and bowling to the 10. 11 15 remaining here in the fourth. Very few flags in this contest. Player down in the midst of that pile and slowly getting up is Brandon Jacobs. Jacobs uh, with a knee injury in the Dallas game, which the Cowboys beat the Giants 45 35, and then the Giants. Whipped by Green Bay 35 13 then they've turned that defense around and beating Washington and Philadelphia in the last two weeks. Now you put his shoulder down and, and sort of threaten a defense like that you will get hit back in return. Especially when you haven't played for about three weeks this accumulating kind of contact is going to start taking its toll. So Derek Ward back in for Jacobs second and seven. Manning. Underneath to Jacobs and to the 17 yard line in the grasp of Jonathan Vilma. 
Ward rather with the catch. And that'll be shy of the first down by about uh, two yards. We're going to officially call it third and one. Looking at Jacobs. Uh, you could you could sure use the power of Brandon Jacobs in this situation. Third and one in lieu of that you're going to need an H back. A fullback like Hedgecock and some good power out of your offensive line. You can see by the yellow line it's a yard and a half. And they pick up that with ease with Derek Ward. Eric Smith up from safety to make the tackle. Smith playing today his first ever NFL star. Eric Coleman sidelined with a concussion. Thursday CSI bone chilling case leads to last minute shocker. Don't miss a new episode of TV's most watched show CSI Thursday at 9 8 central here on CBS. Yeah the heart of that Giants offensive line Dick has sure done a heck of a job you know Cybert and Snee and O'Hara the center. Most of this day there's been some serious yardage consistently inside up one of those three blocks. And when they run right which they often have Green. McKenzie, the former Jet at right tackle, has contributed well. Down the middle, incomplete. Intended for Michael Matthews, the backup tight end, a little tall. But uh, Manning under some pressure delivering. Yeah, it was a nice job by Kenyon Coleman to get in there right at Manning's feet at the last second. We ask Eli Manning, you grow up a famous father, Archie, great, great, great player, mother, a homecoming queen, an older brother that's maybe as good as anyone's ever played the position. Said, and yeah, what are the negatives? He said, well, the expectations were a little high. Yeah. <laughs> said, I am shy. I'm not my brother. I have to be myself. I know they want me to be more charismatic, but just not me. Second down and 10. Ward outside. And he's cut down. Is that a face mask? Oh, yes. Yeah. He went down in such an awkward way. You normally on a tackle. That's not a natural, and he uh, hopefully is not injured on the tackle. David Harris up high to make the stop. If it wasn't a face mask from the way he went down, you go down like for two reasons a horse collar in the back or a face mask in the front. Both being illegal just for that reason because of injury. Personal foul. Unnecessary roughness, number 52, grabbing the runner by the back of the collar and yanking him to the ground. 15 yard penalty from the end of the run, first down. That's the Williams rule because the Dallas safety made so many tackles getting up inside that shoulder pad or jersey like that. And for that very reason, because when you pull a runner down like that, his legs are trapped underneath him. And it's such a such a halting a jerking motion when Harris he didn't get the jersey it's called when you get down in you actually grab the back of the pads to pull the player down. So Ward out Jacobs does return. 153 yards rushing now by the Giants as a team they've moved it out to their own 42 trailing by three under nine minutes to go. Quick throw by Manning, complete in the flat to Madison Hedgecock, his third catch of the entire season. Well, here's a man who will catch it in New York, JB. Well, do my best, Dick and Randy. Take a look at the skins. Well, they're just adding to it. Jason Campbell, play action, hooking up here with Mike Sellers. Mike Sellers, second touchdown of the game. Skins go for the two point conversion. It's good to Chris Cooley. 24 3 skins over top of the Lions. Back to Dick and Randy. All right, JB, the skins here in the East trying to go three and one behind the Cowboys 4-0 start. Giants 2-2 starting today. And second down from near midfield. And again, wide open Burris. And Burris uses the sidelines, gets away! And he's down the sidelines. He didn't step out of bounds. What an effort. Touchdown, Giants. Andre Dyson playing tag with him all the way down the sidelines. Take a bow, big fella. Well, you don't practice it anyway, and he doesn't practice besides that. Never makes a threat to that sideline. Beautiful job of tight roping it along and stiff arming Dyson. 
Meanwhile, something to keep an eye on back at the end of that play, both Kareem McKenzie and Sean O'Hara. Slow We're getting up a little bit, yeah. very slow getting up. Seventh touchdown of this young season for Plexico Burris. Not bad for a guy who doesn't practice much. Huh? <laughs> oh my! Extra point try times. 28-24. The Giants back in front. And Burris, he's off to an all-pro start in this 2007 season. The NFL on CBS is sponsored by Fidelity Investments. Smart move. Nissan, who invites you to shift the way you move through the world. And by Verizon Wireless. They raise them tall uh, at Riverside Park. West side, upper west side of Manhattan. They raise them tall in Virginia Beach, too. Plexico Burra, 6'5", and a strong 232 to power his way down the sidelines for that touchdown. And now the kickoff to Leon Washington. He has one for 98. Look at this one. Oh, he was just caught by the britches at the 37-yard line as he was uh, moving it into overdrive. But it's Burris, seven touchdowns in five games, nearly record-setting, and the Giants by four. Welcome back. As you can see, the Giants a sluggish start, but they put things together since 323 yards of offense. Now the Jets turn, and Pennington stepping away from pressure. Throws to the tight end, Baker, and a first down at the 45 of the Giants. 44, they will mark it. What a wonderful luxury those nice returns by Washington gives Chad Pennington in this offense. It's a totally different feel when you're starting on your own 35 yard line instead of maybe a 20 yard line after a touchback. 18 yards on that last throw and it's Leon Washington on the carry for about two maybe three. And a reminder tomorrow here on CBS. What does it take to melt the heart of TV's most popular bachelor. Find out on an all new two and a half men tomorrow, 9, 8 Central on CBS. Second and long. Pennington finally, no, he isn't sacked. How did he get out of that? And now he's throwing long down the sidelines to Smith, but he's out of bounds. He stepped out of bounds. But what a job by Pennington to elude the sack. The Giants can't believe it. How, how do you not wrap up right there if you're Cofield? Brandon Cofield, he had a gimme. And the tackles in this defense don't get a chance very often to make sacks. Barry Cofield had played his college ball with Luis Castillo on the line for Northwestern University. I could taste that one. They're going to give that to him <laughs> on Monday as they go over the game highlights or lowlights. Third down and eight for Pennington and the Jets. They're out of field goal range. Giants fans on their feet. Defense in full pass, row, pass rush mode. Down the middle, incomplete. Just getting a piece of it was Kevin Dockery. Just enough as Baker was open. Dockery got a fingernail on it. Early on, he had that play in the end zone earlier this half where Smith got, grabbed the ball over him. But look at him come in here and anticipate. Actually, I think he anticipated it so well, he surprised himself. He'd have got the other hand up. He could have had himself an interception. Three eights in a year ago out of Mississippi State. No one took a serious look at him, only 5'8. So the Jets have to punt and the fair catch by McCorders at the 10 yard line. The clock now a factor. 634 left in the fourth quarter. The NFL on CBS is sponsored by Chase Freedom, the credit card that lets you switch between cash back and points. And by FedEx. Go air, go ground, go football. Big sellout here at Giants Stadium. Uh, some green and white Jets fans shoulder to shoulder with a Giant faithful. Ball at the 10 yard line as Eli Manning takes over. He has awakened his game this second half. 
10 for 13 161 yards and two scores after going only three for 10 and 22 yards in the first half. Can the Jets stop the Giants from eating up a lot of clock. Jacobs. He'll chew up some time. And yards. Picks up 10 on that carry before Eric Barton can ride him down. It's something I've always associated with watching a Giants football game in this stadium is just that straight right to the nose. It's always been their running game and it's really epitomized now by Brandon Jacobs with his ability size wise just to bring the power. I know Derek Ward's done a nice job the first four weeks but what a luxury it is to have to have this big guy behind you because you can really kill a lot of clock right now. Ward who has a touchdown as does Jacobs watches from the sidelines. Jacobs leading all rushers 88 yards now in the game. Manning come incomplete through the hands of Michael Matthews and dangerously bobbled toward a couple of Jets defenders. Well Randy let's look at your crosstalk today. Well there's enough of the sloppy stuff and they've been a little sloppy the Jets have some of those penalties and the turnovers have cost them I think right down here the rushing game of the New York Giants has really been the difference. I think when they've needed it especially in this second half they've just teed off they ran it some early in the first half but the second half they brought the attitude and the real physical nature to this half with that offensive line in the running game. Big Brandon Jacobs tailback gets it again. And they swarm to him after a gain of a couple Sean Ellis first to arrive. Now look at Brandon Jacobs return to the lineup. It didn't get off to a great start when Kerry Rhodes stripped him and brought that ball back for a touchdown, but it's been pretty cheerful since then, Dick. 91 yards on the day for Jacobs. He, uh, before the injury in Dallas, had picked up 26 yards in the opener. Consistently have rushed the ball well, but Manning has also thrown it so well here in the second half. That's the difference. Four Spe point lead. Especially off that play action set up by that run those 90 year rushing yards they had. And they call a timeout. Manning unable to beat the play clock. And there's a little push and shove oh. there as uh, Manning tossed the ball away and finally the whistles get the attention of the men on the field the players. That's the second timeout for the Giants in the second half. We'll remind you that coming up after the game you'll see the second half of our doubleheader LT and the Chargers against Jake Cutler and the Broncos in Denver or some of you will see Baltimore and San Francisco out in the Bay. Check local listings for the game in your area. Well, before you get to that one though it's pretty important as you to overstate the obvious you don't want to be one and four if you're the Jets. You, you kick you scream you you stretch you scratch you strip the ball whatever you can do here in these last five minutes you have to find a way to get, get the ball back in your offense's hand as soon as possible because New England to New England that little green object in your rearview mirror it really isn't as close as it appears I mean it's way back there and the Patriots show no signs of slowing down offensively or defensively and they got Rodney Harrison back today and they uh, continue to play at, at such a high level. Two weeks, they can get Richard Seymour off the puck. Yeah, there's list. another. Well, here's a big play then for the Jets' defense. Third down and seven. Manning right and the Giants try to convert. Keep bringing this pressure. Shockey lined up outside right. Here comes the pressure. The throw incomplete and no flag. It was intended for Shockey and the defensive play by Andre Dyson who was burned on the Burris touchdown. Dyson able to jam his way in front of Shockey and break up the pass. Now as they as they've done off and on this entire game the Jets they don't be fuddled but they confound the New York Giants. Manning takes a big hit as he delivers. Yeah that's about half as bad as what. Chad Pennington took on that one play. So the punt team on. And Jeff Fiegels to kick it to Leon Washington, ever dangerous. Back at the 25. Look out. This one isn't quite as high, but he drives it deep. Washington retreats to the 18. Looks for a block. There is none. Good coverage by the Giants at the 22, led by Chase Blackburn, the linebacker. 
The Jets have the ball 440 to go. They have all timeouts remaining. You know pretty nice job. When you think about Eric Mangini's offensive team coming in here against this Giants defense last Sunday night they were the scourge of the NFL. Twelve just twelve sacks. OCU and Manura gets six. They have none so far today against Chad Pennington. Part of it is him doing what he told us. I'm getting that ball out of my hand quick. The other part of it is his offensive line with Jabrickashaw Ferguson and Nick Mangold and company have done a pretty nice job against that rush. They really have done an outstanding job. Shotgun as the Jets start at their own 23. Trailing by four. Flag down. Over the middle and incomplete to Kotri and Boy, that was dangerous. Uh, blue shirts all around the ball. Now let's check the flag. It's going to be a motion. Illegal formation, offense. Left tackle was uncovered. Five yard penalty. Well, that's a mental error. Coaches. Uh, That'll really raise the hair on the back of their necks. That's just the receiver's responsibility to cover up that tackle, not making the eligible receiver on the end of the line. Well, and how different does that look from the halftime check when Eli had the double zeros down at the bottom and a lot of nothing, zero and one, and touchdown to interceptions. Now his rating at 86.4. That measures his outstanding work here in the second half. First and 15. Screen to Washington. Well read by the Giants. Forced him back inside where Kavika Mitchell made the tackle. Well, that, that whole exercise by Washington looked good, but it was kind of much to do for nothing. Barely got back to the line of scrimmage. A lot of exercise, but not, too, not very much reward. In fact, he lost a yard. Second and 16. The long throw. Almost intercepted. It was intended for Coles, and James Butler had his hands on it. Butler, third year of safety from Georgia Tech from Climax, Georgia. And that would have perhaps been a climax for the Giants. Well, it was very good timing. You see, Coles had that thing timed pretty well himself, but Butler saw it from the deep center field. It was in the air long enough for him to try to take advantage. Tough ball for the Jets. Third and 16. They rush only three. Pennington steps up out of trouble. Throws complete to Brad Smith. Will it be enough? Yes. They're going to mark it at the 34 on forward progress, and it's a first down. They needed 16, got 17. Still have the full complement of time, timeouts, and this is all Chad Pennington and a hard-working offensive line. It wasn't great protection, but he knew right where to slide. Pennington into the flat to Coles, and he's bumped out at the 39 after a gain of five. Sam Madison, the defender. Clock shows 328 remaining for the stop on the out of bounds play. In this half, this offense has functioned pretty good between the 20s. They ran into their problem when the field has shrunk and the field's gotten smaller. That early missed field goal by Mike Nuchin of 42 yards plays heavily now as the Jets need more than a field goal here in the final minutes. Trailing by four. Second and five. Intercepted and on his way for his first touchdown is rookie Aaron Ross. Oh my. Well that ought to please his girlfriend. She happens to be the world record or the American record holder in the 400 meters. So she can outrun me. Well with that goal line in sight Aaron Ross was plenty quick enough 43 yards and a touchdown. Yeah it just what a nice job by the young rookie of being right where the defense of Steve Spagnola tells him to be. And once that ball's in the air, it must have looked like it was a beach ball. Times adds the extra point. 
And Ross's girlfriend, Sonia Richards, who won the gold medal as a part of the U.S. 4x400 relay team in Athens. She's here for the first time to cheer him on as a New York Giant, and uh, he's got something to talk about tonight. Said, we'll go out and celebrate by bowling. Said, I can beat her at that. He starts here, fakes a blitz, and then drops back and then reacts. Pennington's reading blitz. He's just flat and not supposed to be there. Does a nice job of disguising, better job of breaking on it. And no doubt, biggest, biggest play of his early career. Yeah, he said, my nickname was Silky at the University of Texas, and that was pretty smooth. The number one draft pick of the Giants paying a big dividend today. Ball reactions. Scouts look at that all season long, and Ross showed you what grabs uh, their attention. 43-yard touchdown for Ross. Worked his way into the starting lineup with his effort in the first couple of games. Two interceptions in this quarter for Ross. And a couple of uh, tough throws for Pennington. The one that he lobbed toward the end zone that cost uh, the Jets points earlier in this half. And then that one that goes the other way for a score. I think really that was a defender that wasn't accounted for. Being up where he was, faking that blitz. I'm not sure. I'm not sure that Chad ever saw him. 3:15 left, and the Giants enjoying the 11-point advantage. And they kick away from Leon Washington. And Sean Ryan, the backup tight end, carries it out close to the 35. A reminder: next Saturday, it'll be Matt Flynn and the number one-ranked Bayou Bengals of LSU against Andre Woodson and the explosive Kentucky Wildcats. Action begins. Tim Brando, Spencer Tillman, on TIAA Prep College Football today, live at three Eastern. And LSU will cement its spot at number one after those shockers from the West Coast. USC beaten by a 40-point underdog, Stanford. Last two weeks in a row, what nine out of the last nine. Nine out of ten top ten teams have gone down. LSU is the only consistent team out there. Now Pennington uh, has to really come up with some big stuff late. Is that going to be ruled a catch? No whistle yet. Now finally the officials wave it off. Kotchery had it stripped away by Ross. Coverage by Ross. 31 Ross right there. He stripped down with the. The left hand got the, the strip arm across and then tackled with the right. Well, we have two number one draft picks in this game, the cornerbacks, the Jets, and there goes Pennington down on the first sack, and Michael, no, it isn't Strayan, it's Ose Human Euro, and he is hurt on making the tackle. He's been favoring some injuries, including a knee. Yeah, it's been a knee. That looks like he's holding his lower back. Human Euro who had six sacks, a giant record last Sunday. The first of registered by the Giants pass rush this afternoon. Well, he does a nice job on Debrickashaw Ferguson on that play. Moving inside of Debrickashaw. He just comes from here, goes right into his face, and then slips underneath Debrickashaw. Good technique. Debrickashaw was almost where he needed to be. He lands right into the the rear and lower back. Kind of hyperextends his back when he goes into that tackle. Well, he's become a star for these Giants. They've had one for many years, and Michael Strahan, who's terrorized the passers throughout the NFL, and now is uh, the Giants' career leader, and and this complemented by this five-year defensive end from Troy State. O.C. Human Year and he appears to be OK. Well a couple of years ago O.C. had 14 and a half sacks made the Pro Bowl. And had, then hadn't had a sack for eight games before last Sunday night. Now in the last. Week he's had seven. Yeah the chief made a chief in native Nigeria said of a village. How big is that village? Yeah, a little village he said 30,000. Well, he's been a chief defensively for the Giants. 
How do you stop this pass rush? They've done a good job, Jets, until now. Here comes the blitz. Pennington barely gets it off to Coles, but Coles immediately contacted by Jabril Wilson. Out of bounds. No, it is not. The clock runs at 2:24, and uh, with fourth down and 13, this is uh, all but the final chance for the Jets. They have to go for it as they face that 11-point deficit and the clock ticking away. Pennington. Incomplete intended for Kotri, broken up by Antonio Pierce, and the Giants take over on downs, and that'll secure their third win of the year. Yeah, it wouldn't have been wouldn't have been a first down anyway if the ball had been completed. They were about a yard short of where the contact was made by Pierce and Kotri. Well, Eric Mancini got plenty from his special teams. Got a defensive touchdown on a fumble return by Kerry Rhodes. But the Giants and when you look ahead at big blue schedule Atlanta San Francisco Miami that Miami game in London mm -hmm. I mean they might well be favored in all three of those games. Well you know they can't look very far ahead. They're a week to week kind of entity but we can they could be six and two at the break at their bye, and that would be way best case scenario for Tom Coughlin and this football team going into the season. 2.03 left, so the two minute warning coming up. The Jets have three timeouts. They try to tackle the ball. Brandon Jacobs protects it carefully, and we're at the two minute warning. And we welcome those of you joining us following NFL action on CBS. We're at the Meadowlands where the Giants lead by 11. Two minute warning. First person I know. <laughs> Welcome back to the Meadowlands to Kenberg with Randy Cross, our producer Bob Monsbach, director Suzanne Smith, Eli Manning and the Giants with a comfortable 11 point lead, two minutes to go, and the Jets will be forced to use their timeouts. Brandon Jacobs breaking tackles is to the 25 yard line, 24 they'll mark it before Eric Smith and Dwayne Robertson can bring him down, the big fella has contributed strongly today. And how about Aaron Ross making his name known this rookie from Texas the 20th pick in the draft last year. This one taken uh, off Pennington at the goal line and then he steals one at midfield and carries it in 43 yards for a touchdown and that was when the Jets were trying to rally from being four points down that touchdown giving the Giants an 11 point advantage. You mentioned his girlfriend Sonia Richards the world class Olympics or world class American sprinter. He said the best thing about having her here is it's his bowling buddy. <laughs> He's not going to go out at night and go bowling. That I sir, surely I'm not going to go out and race her. I, I, even Mac Brown at Texas said you know you're getting the good cornerback uh, to the Giants but I tell you what his girlfriend can outrun him. So it is. A third down and a long one. And the first down uh, will all but end this. And Jacobs has that and maybe more. He walks it in. A flag is down. We'll see if it counts. Well, they're going to call that one back. Referee Carollo is calling holding. Holding. 66. Offense. 10 yard penalty. Replay third down. Left tackle David Deal called for the hold and denies Jacobs his second touchdown. David Deal right there, line up at left tackle. Just has a sort of a throat grab working on Coleman. So that brings back that possible touchdown as Jacobs was trying to add to his 100 yards rushing. As uh, his return after missing three games has been a key part of the success of the Giants in the second half. Yeah, that's uh, this this second half, the running game was complemented so well by the play action and was all the difference in the world. Ruben Drones replaces Brandon Jacobs at tailback on third and eleven. Drones with Cleveland oh, and with the Denver Broncos. Before coming to the Giants camp. Tackled by Coleman and Vilma. Timeout for the Jets. 
And now the Jets are, are in the process of falling to one and four. And misery loves company, and they got plenty of that the next three weeks. And the Eagles, uh, Bengals, Buffalo, all there at the moment. The Redskins with a solid showing against the Lions today. Well, this is the first half of our CBS doubleheader. Stay with us. A couple of good ones coming from the Rockies in the West, the Chargers and Broncos in the AFC West, and the Ravens make the trip across country to play the San Francisco 49ers. You know, that, that Denver defense, one of the worst defenses in the league, stopping the rush, Dick, and we saw San Diego for one half dominate last week. And if they could be devoted, as Tom Coughlin was today, to their running game, they should really get something special coming up here next on CBS when the Chargers meet the Broncos. So fourth and nine is Eric Mancini uh, with that expression, wondering what could have been. His team gave him a couple of big plays, a defensive touchdown, a 98-yard kickoff return touchdown by Leon Washington, but not enough from the offense as the Giants have pulled ahead here in the second half. The Jets did lead at the intermission 17 to 7. So Manning on fourth and nine. Jets have one more timeout. As the give is to Drones, and he picks up the first down inside the 20, and that'll do it. Clock will run now. A couple of kneel downs, and this one's over with 125 showing. You know, back in the 70s, Dick, there was a movie called Billy Jack, and in that there was a line where it says, I'm going to take this right foot and put it on the right side of your face, and there's nothing you can do. And early on, it was Jets, but once this second half hit, it was running game, running game, running game. And the Jets did not really hide much of that. The highlight, really, for the Jets in the second half was 